and using search terms and negative search terms to narrow down from 2,000 listings to, I think, 116. And out of those, even some of them are still agent listings, and I don't want to bother with those. So you filter them and then just do them manually? Yes. Okay, Steve, do you, what, do you do the same way or use a no, scraping service? I, I don't have a scraper. I'm, I'm, I'm calling through every number that Vulcan 7 gives me on a given you know, contact. Yeah, that, what, what source, I'm sorry? Vulcan 7 is what I use. Vulcan 7, okay. Tell everybody about that. Can like live long and prosper for Vulcan? Yeah, yeah. Just Blessings like that. upon you. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's called Vulcan 7. And it's some of the best, I don't know what their source is, but it's some of the best data um, for, for sale by owners and expireds. A lot of realtors use it, but it, so it has a, the data comes with that. And for every given contact, they might have three, four, five phone numbers. Those phone numbers could be their home phone. It could be the, uh, their, their cell phone. It could be any number they happen to scrape for them. And there's also a built-in dialer. So I use the dialer with the message system where you just drop off a message so to really increase the speed at which you can run through these numbers. And most of the time when it's a cell phone and I leave a message, that, that, that's where the second I hit the cell phone, they start texting me back or they'll, you know, they'll do something. Can I ask, would it be intrusive if I asked you the cost? Uh, it's like 300 bucks a month. Okay. That's a, it's a little pricey, but you're getting, you're getting listings and deals and things like that. Yeah, and well, there's another service called Mojo you guys might have heard of. It's a very, very similar service, but it actually is techier. It has more gizmos, um, which are pretty helpful. But I, the reason I use Vulcan 7 as opposed to Mojo, Mojo is only about a third the price. But to me, I'm not techie. And Vulcan 7 has a very straightforward user interface. I know how to use it. Okay. Right, it's simple, and and the data seems to me substantially better. I like you said the the biggest turn on word for me in business simple. I yeah. I love the I hate how much I hate wasting time on getting. You ever get bogged down on a computer that won't work or an application or you're on technical support for hours and listening to bad jazz music or whatever. You yeah, know, that's not making you money, is it? No, sir. Oh, I love, is, I love, stuff is great. Yeah, I, I've always been a Mac guy um, just because Mac is simple and they have great customer service. Uh, you know, I know there's cheaper, and that's just my philosophy is what's the value of my time? And that goes back to millionaire thinking and everything we're talking about here earlier on about respect for ourselves and our time uh, on that. So you got this system, and how many, how many conversations is it generating for you a daily basis or a weekly? Um, I can tell you exactly. Hold on. Oh, wow. You got the stats right there and everything, huh? Yeah. Hold on one sec. Very cool. So it looks like on average, so I call for, for two hours a day. Beautiful. And you, uh, budget every, you budget every day, five days, seven days, eight days. Five, five, days, five days a week. Five days a week. You budget. Um, two hours a day for just for sales calls. Just calls, nothing else. And they, they could be my, my database. They could be um, these Vulcan 7 cold calls or expired. They could be any wherever I decide I want to call around whatever campaign. Um, but as I look at this, so last week I called actually for 10.5 hours last week. Wow. And let me see here. Uh, I'll tell you how many, con so on the contacts that I had, and these are not just mess. okay, well, I'll just go straight through it. So um, I averaged, let's see, there were 67 calls, 54 calls, 42 calls, 72 calls, and um, live answers were 17, 17, 15, 19, and 21, and I left, um, voicemails, I, mean, I dropped the mail at 30, 36, 42, 37, and 50 uh, different uh, mailboxes. So now a whole bunch of people called me back after that. Typically, I get about two, three phone calls back a day. Okay. On top of those contacts, add two or three. 
And last week, I got, I'll tell you what I got. Remember last week, where did it go? There we go. No. So I had, and these are, these are the real leads that came from it, right? Because these are all just, leads are just, it's a crappy word. It just means people. Who, who cares what that means? Quality so prospects. Yeah, so quality prospects that, that, I, that got, I got, that were interested in something from me, I from them, they had a legitimate business deal that was, you know, potential that I can handle. Last week there were eight. Okay. That, those are good numbers. How about to, uh, do you follow up on the people you spoke with, but they weren't ready? Do you have a follow-up system so that you can get, come back to them after the holidays or whatever? Sort of. I need a better one. Okay. Um, I just, what I do now is I put them in my database and they get caught up in all the auto stuff. Like the, like I'll put them in my calendar if I think they're worth calling back, but okay. they're just so, so I just stick them in the auto stuff. So they get my newsletters and they'll get, okay. Get you, you have something there. I think uh, I can't tell you how many times I've done deals on the follow up or keep emailing them or following up with them at some point, you know, you're spending all this time and money and investment on somebody and just because they they're not ready today doesn't mean they won't be ready at another time and date um, and you're build I think you're sl slowly building up some familiarity with them you're not this you're not Steve Aranda the stranger anymore oh Steve yeah we spoke to you at Christmas uh, Steve we're I think we're ready to do something here we wanted to talk to you boom yeah I, I, I had one one appointment from all those last week which did result actually <laughs> it resulted in some guys who are listing a, a duplex, it's about a million bucks for the duplex. Um, I have the buyer and it's a full 6%. Beautiful. So like taking that. That's, that's a $60,000 commission, right? Yes, yes. Is that, is that a nice payday? Yeah, yeah. But then they also have the, the money from that duplex, it's owned free and clear. <laughs> They're gonna, so I hooked them up with a, with a self-directed IRA company and they're gonna 1031 into a self-directed IRA, and they're gonna give me, give me the use of that million bucks to go out and 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 help them to you know to flip properties with me. For so they'll they'll become mm -hmm. users. Okay, so you not only got the through this system you have, you not only got a six percent commission on a million dollar home, but you've got a future investor style investor type client for future business. Yeah, absolutely. How many how many people would you need like that? in 2018 to give you the lifestyle, the income level you need? Actually, I need about 36 of them. 36 of them, okay, how'd you break, how'd you get to that number so fast? Because <laughs> I've been doing my numbers all last week, two weeks, so. I okay, know. okay, very good, thank you for sharing. That was a wealth of information, thank you, Steve. That was excellent. Um, let's talk, so the texting, um, you can do it manually, which may be cumbersome, but if you're watching